What is up, YouTube people? This is my L here. Today is Thursday, September 12th. One more day till Friday the 13th. That should be fun. Um, I haven't posted a video in quite uh, a bit of time, and that was because my laptop charger blew and I haven't been able to upload videos. Um, so right now I'm uploading using my iPad, so the picture might be a little, but um, at least I get to make my videos and post them out there for you guys. Uh, updates, uh, I'm still pretty pre-op, I'm still going to therapy, uh, I've had three therapy sessions, and two days from now, Saturday will be my next uh, therapy session with Dr. Tracy Lowenthal. And, um, uh, looking forward to that, actually. I believe that I am in really good hands, and she's very professional, and she knows what she's doing. Um, also, I wanted to talk about, um, actually recapping about my last video, uh, mentioning that I was going to come out to my parents. Um, well, that day finally came, and I did come out to my parents, um, both my parents, my mom and my dad, and my older brother are aware of the situation. Although I probably look, broke my mom's heart. Again, the first time was when I came out as a lesbian. And um, I came out to them with a letter. I mentioned that in the previous video. Um, it was the end of the evening and I was headed back home and I asked her to walk me to the car and in my glove compartment I had the letter and I handed her the letter and she immediately had a feeling and I could see it in her eyes, her heart sank and she told me she had a feeling that I was going to do that. She is not 100% with it. She thinks it's against God, trying to change my body. She thinks I'm confused and I've strayed from God and all that stuff. But she didn't want to jump the gun too quick. So, um, she's staying kind of open-minded a bit and she's willing to go to therapy and kind of get more information out of that and um, she kind of has a hard time getting it through me um, not sure is it because she doesn't trust it coming up for me but you know whatever makes this a bit more understandable to her um, I'm all up for it uh, me and my dad had a very deep conversation he actually took me to dinner and we uh, talked mostly about negative things. Um, he basically wanted me to know all the downfalls to transitioning and, um, and all that comes with it. And um, it was really hard. But in overall, he's just very concerned. He cares and mostly confused as well. Because, you know, I was his little princess. And I kind of made it clear to him. And he kind of was like, whoa. When I told him I don't want to be a little princess. I, you know, I want to be a prince. <laughs> I'm a prince. I'm a prince. Deep, deep inside. Um, and, um, so that was good. My dad, you know, said he's not going to accept it overnight, but same thing. He's you're like, he's just like, you know what, you're going to do it regardless whether I tell you it's okay or not. You know, I'm sure you thought about it long and hard. And, um, you know, he wanted to make sure that it wasn't something that just, you know, was out of the blue. I didn't wake up and be like, hey, today, I, you know, I want to be a guy now. Sorry. Mm. <sighs> um, but 
that's that with my parents. My older brother uh, called me actually a few days later telling me, you know, that my mom had called him crying and stuff. And he is actually my biggest supporter right now. Um, he is 100% with me. He asked if I ever need anything and he talked to me. He's very concerned. He doesn't want me to feel lonely. He needs to know that uh, he's there for me for anything. If I need to talk, if I need to cry, if I have, need somewhere to go, um, he could. I could always call him. And, you know, that made me feel really good because, you know, I didn't expect this from my family to take it this way from when I first came out as a lesbian and left home. Um, and everything, everything was just pretty bad. Uh, and so I'm really grateful that they're kind of opening their eyes a bit and giving themselves the opportunity to learn more about what this is and what I'm going to go, be going through and, and for them as well because, you know, I'm changing and they're all part of my life and they all have to witness and be a part of these changes. And I'm um, just kind of looking forward to that and taking everything at a uh, steady pace and just um, waiting for a lot of change, actually, and a lot of progress. Um, what else can I talk about? I don't want to take too much of your guys' time, but uh, I'm still working. Work is going really well. I have this huge project. Um, I work for a beverage company, and um, it's going well. It's going well. Um, I am back with my ex-girlfriend, and she's now living with me, and uh, that's going very well. Uh, we were together for four and a half years. Took about a six month break. And then we just kind of figured that, um, yeah, we shouldn't waste any more time being apart. Um, and uh, it, it, did, it did us some good. It did us some good for the relationship. Um, what else can I say? Hair, um, haircuts. I wish I could cut my hair right here, right now. But. I don't want to make any drastic and quick set of movements and then go back and be like, oh shit, <laughs> what did I do? So pretty soon, not sure how soon, but um, pretty soon, I'm hoping, I keep saying that, pretty soon, pretty soon, but it's, it's actually a haircut, it's actually a big s step for me, a big like, whoa, here I am. And uh, especially for work, I mean, everybody's aware of me being gay. And, um, but, you know, the whole female to male thing could be a little bit different, especially with uh, bathrooms. I think bathrooms would be my biggest concern because we don't, I don't think we have a unisex bathroom. Um, but, um, you know, that's a whole different story. Sorry, the lighting is kind of crappy on this thing. Um, what else? Uh, what else? What else? What else? Um, I'm getting a tattoo done on my whole back. And it wasn't as painful, but certain parts were kind of, you know, very sensitive and tender. Um... I left my phone in the other room, but um, it's 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 still about halfway done. So as soon as I I get my whole piece done, I'll probably post some pictures up. Um, what else? Um, other than that, I think that that's about it on life update. Um, like I said, therapy is going well. Family is coming along pretty well. Work is good. I'm back with my girlfriend. Just kind of everything's going pretty smoothly as right now. I don't have a timeline yet on how soon I'm going to be able to be on hormone therapy. But I'm guessing I still have a couple of months of therapy. And I have therapy every two weeks, the least. Uh, if for any circumstances or any something pops up in between, uh, the most is uh, three weeks uh, every therapy session. But most likely every two weeks, and plus it kind of helps out my pocket. Uh, I originally started paying $130 per session, uh, but then uh, Dr. Tracy Lowenthal, the doctor I'm seeing, 
and she brought it back down two hundred dollars so that it makes it a little easier on my pocket so that you know money shouldn't have to be an issue for me to uh, stop going to sessions so that was pretty awesome other than that um, that's all I got for you guys um, once again this is Mael here I'm pretty pre-op today is Thursday September 12th um, please do not hesitate to leave any comments uh, below uh, if you guys just want to give a shout out, if you guys have any questions that I might be able to help with you guys, I can um, provide some information. Um, if you want to just say hi, or hey, don't be afraid. I'm always uh, willing to talk to anybody, or if you just need somebody to talk to, um, you can always um, hit me up. Uh, Alright, YouTube. Well, uh, I am going to finish my drink. And go spend time with a lady. <laughs>